no coincidence that you're hearing this message today. No matter how you're hearing it, whether you're here or hearing it at a future date. But I'm going to ask those who are here this morning, would you repeat this prayer after me to help those who might be praying now? If you're in this room today, you pray it with us. It's not magic words. It's you believing what we're praying. Believing that God wants a relationship with you. He wants to be your good, good heavenly father. He wants to provide for you. He wants to protect you. He wants to secure a place in heaven for you. If you'll believe that today, God's going to forgive your sins. He's going to give you a fresh start today. Would you pray this prayer with me this morning? Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in Jesus' name. Admitting and acknowledging that I'm a sinner. I believe, Jesus, that you died on the cross for my sins. Paying the penalty that I deserve. And I am in need of you, Jesus, to be my Savior, to be my Lord. Please forgive me for all my sin. Wash me, make me clean, and help me from this day forward to live for you. Thank you for saving me, making me ready for heaven. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, let somebody know who's a Christian. Amen. Grab my arm today if you're here in this building and you made that decision for the first time or you rededicated your heart. We just want to encourage you and help you in your walk with the Lord. Every good, healthy relationship is a two-way relationship. God wants to talk to you and he wants you to talk to him. Learn how to pray. Amen. Prayer is not just you giving God your Santa Claus list, though. Sometimes prayer is just putting on some praise and worship music and worshiping Him for who He is and letting Him speak to you. He'll drop things into your heart in prayer. Amen? Believers, we know that. Get a Bible and start reading it as well. Let God speak to you through His Word and show you individually, not just on Sundays when the pastor's giving it to you, but on your own time. Spend some time. It may just be a few minutes before you go to work or you go to school. You start your day. But let God show you who is in the Bible, amen, and teach you from his word, and then get plugged into a church where you can grow with other brothers and sisters in Christ, amen, those that are running the same race you are, they're not running to drop out, they're running, running to win, that's the church you want to be in, those who are pursuing after Christ with all of their hearts, and you be there as much as you can, it's going to help you grow in that walk with the Lord. Believers, before we dismiss this morning, can we say this morning, God, help us as believers in these last days. He's coming soon, amen? Help us as believers in these last days to recognize and to realize that we live in a fatherless society, don't we? There's a lot of people, maybe you know some, who are broken, who are bruised, who are hopeless because there's no father in their life. Let's ask God to help us realize that we can be a father to the fatherless just like he is. Because we can tell them about our God. Amen? We can tell them about our God. The church had better be reaching out to the almost 50% of young people who are fatherless or who's going to. Amen? God, use me. Use me to tell them about a good, good heavenly father who will protect them, who will provide for them, who will secure a stable future for them. Amen. Can we say that this morning as we close in a time of prayer? Heavenly Father, I want them to see you. I want them to see that you can make up the difference where maybe their earthly father has failed. God, you want to provide for them. You want to protect them. You want to give them a future. Maybe you know some people today that need that in their lives. Can we just take a few moments as James sings this song? Can we just pray in the way that we feel the Lord wants us to respond to his word today? Let's pray for those fatherless that we may have contact with in our life. Let's pray God use Bolivar Pentecostal Church to reach out to a broken, a bruised, a hopeless world and to point them to Jesus. Will you take a few min minutes and do that as James leads us?
speak life into their lives. Lord, we just pray that you'll bless us as we leave this place this morning. Help us to hide your word, to treasure it in our hearts this week, and to find ways to put it into practice. God, bless our time with family today. Help us to honor our dads, to honor those who have that role in our family. God, just give us strong families, Lord, that are making a difference for you, Lord. God, held together by your love. We thank you for that. Bless your people as we leave this place this morning. Give us a great week in your presence, we pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you.